I'd like to welcome all of you who have come here this evening. I think we were a little worried when we got a bigger lecture theatre than we uh, had, had planned for, that we might actually uh, only be a, a handful of us. So it really is a, a great turnout this evening. On behalf of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, I'd like to say how, deli how delighted we are to provide the venue for the 10th annual uh, Professor Father Michael Kelly lecture on the real HIV and AIDS issues that affect the lives of uh, vulnerable people, most of whom are living in conditions of extreme poverty. When I emailed our Chief Executive, Cahal Kelly, and our Dean, Hannah McGee, they uh, to s proposed that we, we uh, volunteer, that we, we uh, use the RCSI for the venue. They responded from their phones, as bosses normally do, very quickly, and, and with alacrity. And it's a great honor for us to be hosting this lecture for the third time. Um, indeed, it was one of the earlier lectures um, by uh, Father Michael, which uh, our deputy CEO attended, which led to us inviting him to become our, our, to receive our, our honorary doctorate. And this was part of a new honorary doctorate program that uh, had been established. And he was the second person to receive it. We only, we only award one each year. And the first, uh, fittingly, was to a woman, and that was to uh, President Mary McAleese. Uh, my job here is to welcome uh, our chair, Mr. Michael Caffey, uh, Director General of Irish Aid. And he will, he will welcome our, our distinguished guests, our distinguished speakers, uh, Michael's family, who we're very glad to see are here, and uh, Michael's friends. And I think most of us here in the audience would count ourselves as, as his friends. Uh, but also as his admirers. As we know, Michael will be, and indeed is, a bit mortified that we're drawing attention to him yet again, making a fuss yet again about him. Uh, but we know he does appreciate it, and we know how justified it is. Given his huge contribution in the field of HIV and AIDS, in, in education, in prevention, but ever since this lecture series was, was uh, started, I, I cannot remember uh, Michael not making a special uh, advocacy for vulnerable young women. So I think uh, today's talk is especially appropriate. Um, as somebody who attended uh, seven, if not eight, of these annual lectures, uh, let me, on all our behalfs, congratulate Irish Aid uh, and uh, especially um, uh, Megan and Stephen from the Irish Forum for Global Health for this wonderful testimony uh, to Michael's work and particularly to this lecture series and I hope you, you all picked up a copy on the way in. Um, I do have to add that in there is, is my favourite photograph from all the lecture series and I still remember it and I'm only now seeing it again um, uh, after many years not having seen it. So you might just turn to page 19. <laughs> and this, was, this photograph was taken here uh, in the college. I can see Sheila is leafing through, wondering what the photograph is going to be. Um, and it's of Michael and Sheila greeting each other with big grins on their faces. And with the poster behind, put together by our RCSI students, reading, is this about sex? <laughs> And then this delicious strawberry with dripping chocolate on the side. One doesn't know what to think. It probably shows your commitment, Sheila, as Minister for Health at the time, how far you would go in the fight against HIV and AIDS. But without no more ado, um, let me pass you over to your, your chair uh, for the evening, uh, uh, Michael Gaffey, who will uh, welcome our guests and who will uh, maybe put all this in context. 